why using the phrase my specific person has always been like that is a lie. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I am going to share with you why using the phrase my specific person has always been this way is absolutely not true. But first, if you would like to sign up for coaching with me to help you manifest your specific person, I offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, where I show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do this. You can get instant access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. I also offer monthly membership coaching to help you manifest anything you desire. You can get access to this by also clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. Why using the phrase, my specific person has always been like this, is a lie. Now, this video stems from some of the comments that I'm seeing in the comments section when people ask questions, when they will say things like, oh, my specific person has never believed in marriage, or my specific person is just simply not ready for commitment. They've always been this way. And when people make these comments, it implies that this is the way that your specific person is, period, and then there's nothing that you can do about that. I want to shine some light on the fact that who your specific person was before they met you is completely irrelevant. And here's why. Your specific person is always thinking, feeling, and treating you in accordance to your assumptions. It has nothing to do with who they've always been or who they were before they met you. That is completely, absolutely irrelevant. Your specific person is treating you in accordance to your assumptions. So if your specific person has told you they don't believe in marriage or that they are not ready for commitment, it's not because that's who they've always been. It's simply because you either have a low self-concept or you have negative assumptions about your specific person. You have stories that say, I'm never prioritized, I'm never chosen, my specific person is not ready for commitment, my specific person is not ready for marriage because this is simply who they are. These are the assumptions that you hold within you that is causing your specific person to treat you that way. And sometimes people say, oh no, but Priya, the only reason why I have these assumptions is because my specific person told me that they don't believe in marriage or they're not ready for commitment. No, the only reason why your specific person told you that in the first place is because you have a low self-concept that says, I'm never prioritized, I'm never chosen, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable. That caused them to tell you, I'm not ready for commitment. I don't believe in marriage. Your specific person is always treating you in accordance to your assumptions, always. So everything that comes out of your specific person's mouth, the way that they treat you is always because you have something going on inside of you, an assumption going on inside of you that says, my specific person is not ready for commitment or I'm not prioritized, I'm not chosen, I'm not lovable. That is the only reason. To really drive this point home, your specific person, perhaps before meeting you, might have always been in committed relationships. But when they meet you, you're now in a friends with benefits zone and they don't commit to you. Why is that? Is it because all those other girls or their exes were better than you? Nope. It's simply because you have negative assumptions. You have a low self-concept or you have negative assumptions about your specific person and those other girls that your specific person committed to didn't have a low self-concept or negative assumptions about your specific person so your specific person treated them differently so again they are always treating you in accordance to your assumptions in the same way your specific person could have been a fuckboy and a player before they met you right so they went all around town playing everybody but then they meet you and you're somebody that has a really high self-concept and you have positive assumptions about how people treat you in relationships. And so your specific person commits to you, but he played every single person before you. But when it comes to you, he fully commits. He only has eyes for you and he treats you like a queen. 
my message here again is that your specific person is always treating you in accordance to your assumptions so who they were before they met you is irrelevant and using the phrase this is always who they've been is absolutely irrelevant if your specific person is telling you i don't believe in marriage or i'm not ready for commitment it's simply because you have negative assumptions i know this for a fact because when me and my husband first got together many years back my husband told me i don't believe in marriage and i was like hmm what assumption do I have within me that's causing him to say this to me? And you don't even have to know what it is. I just focused on the end result. Okay, I kept affirming, I'm always prioritized, I'm always chosen, we are happily married. And then a month later, the man proposed to me. So, it doesn't matter what they're saying to you. What they're saying to you is the result of your old assumptions. The only thing that matters is what do you want? Get clear on what you want. Once you're clear about what you want, think as if you are the version of you that has it through affirmations. So focus on increasing your self-concept and focus on telling positive stories about your specific person that imply the end. Your self-concept is how you see yourself in general when it comes to love and relationships, regardless of your specific person. So do you have stories that say, I am lovable, I'm always prioritized, I'm always chosen, I'm always good enough, or do you have stories that say, I'm never prioritized, I'm never chosen, I'm never good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm not deserving of love, I'm not pretty enough. The second part to this is your stories about your specific person. Do you have stories that say, my specific person is not ready for commitment. My specific person needs to heal, therefore he's not ready for commitment. My specific person is using me. My specific person doesn't love me. My specific person hates me. Or do you have stories that say, my specific person loves being in a committed relationship with me. Me and my specific person are in a happy, committed relationship. Me and my specific person are happily married. My specific person always treats me like a queen. I'm the love of their life. They can't get enough of me. They're obsessed with me. The idea is you want to saturate your subconscious mind with the new stories that imply you are the version of you that has your specific person. And you do this through affirmations, through repetition. When these new stories become dominant within you, dominant meaning you're telling the new story more than you're telling the old story, your subconscious mind always has to produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality. Meaning, your specific person now has no choice but to show up and treat you in accordance to your new stories. This is when they will go from, I'm not ready to commit, to I want to be in a fully committed relationship with you, I only have eyes for you. This is when they will go from, I don't believe in marriage, I don't want to get married, to will you marry me? You're the love of my life. You are always dictating and curating the version of your specific person that you experience in your reality through your assumptions. Your specific person is always reflecting back to you the assumptions that you hold within you, whether they are positive or negative. Therefore, using the phrase, this is who they've always been, is a complete lie. If you are using this phrase, there is a misunderstanding of how manifestation works. Because here's the thing, you are manifesting 24-7 whether you are aware of it or not. Your specific person is always treating you in accordance to your assumptions whether you are aware of it or not. Let me rephrase that. Your specific person is always treating you in accordance to your positive or negative assumptions whether you are aware of it or not. So my message is who your specific person was before they met you is irrelevant. They will treat you in accordance to your assumptions because they are in your reality. What your specific person says to you is irrelevant. If they say to you, I don't believe in marriage, I never want to have kids, or I'm not ready for commitment, I never want to be in a committed relationship, I don't want to be monogamous, it is irrelevant. The only reason why they said those things to you is because you have negative assumptions. You either have a low self-concept or negative assumptions about your specific person. When you change those so that you have positive assumptions about your specific person and a really high self-concept, your specific person will have a change of mind and a change of heart. This is when they will come to you and tell you that you're the love of their life and they want to commit to you and they want to marry you and they only want to be with you. It is that simple. 
that's it for this video thank you so much for being here i love you i appreciate you have a beautiful day or a wonderful evening Mwah.